Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's TexasFootball.com here in Godly, Texas for Friday night, week one instant recap for Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Let's start here in Godly where the uh, Alvarado Indians spoiled the debut of Godly's uh, beautiful new facility here. 48-21 uh, win over Godly. Uh, Alvarado uh, had a big offensive night. Cardia Collier quarterback, wide receiver Lance Sansom hooked up for four touchdowns. Collier also ran for a touchdown. Alvarado senior laid, laid in offense. Look the part in a 48-21 win over Godley. Keep an eye on Alvarado as a potential sleeper in Class 4A Division I Region 2. Looking across the state of Texas, a few things that caught my eye. Let's start in the Houston area, one of the best games of the night that I watched. Katie in a back-and-forth affair with a uh, five-yard touchdown run from Tremaine Hill with a minute 40 left in the game. Knocks off Dickinson 41-37. to uh, Two top 25 teams in 6A going at it. Katie shows that championship medal that we all know they have hanging on for that 41-37 win over the Dickinson Gators. Uh, in, a, in the DFW area, a couple of big games. First, let's start with the 6A versus 5A game. 6A, Geyer knocks off two-time defending 5A Division I state champion Alito in a classic 35-30 at CH Collins Stadium up there in Denton that you saw on TexanLive.com. Geyer got down 16-3 to early, came back, tied it at 16 right before halftime. Alito Racing Guillory scores a short touchdown run right before halftime to make it 23-16. On the final play of the first half, Geyer returns the ensuing kickoff 87 yards for a touchdown to tie it at 23, giving the Wildcats momentum to go into the halftime locker room. They get it done in the second half. The defense hangs on. 35-30 win. Huge win for Reed Himes Ball Club and the Geyer Wildcats over a great Alito team. Uh, in the Metroplex also, north of DFW, congrats to Lubbock Cooper, the Pirates. Chip Darden's squad goes on the road from Lubbock all the way to Lovejoy, which is north of Dallas, and spoils Todd Dodge's debut as the head coach of the Lovejoy Leopards, hanging on for a 46-43 win. Huge statement win for Lubbock Cooper, showing they will be a factor in 5A Division II Region 1. Out in East Texas in Class 4A, the showdown we were waiting for was a defensive slugfest. Two of the top defenses in the state, Kilgore and Carthage, go at it. They take two, two tire irons to each other and just beat the crap out of each other for 48 minutes. And it's Kilgore who comes out on top of a 20-15 to 15 win over Carthage. It's the first time since 2016 Carthage has lost back-to-back -back games since they lost to Gilmer in the regional final last year. They lose a season open to Kilgore 20-15. to 15. Carthage takes the lead late in the fourth quarter on a 52-yard touchdown run by K.J. Edwards to go up 15-14. to 14. Kilgore returns the ensuing kickoff 70 yards to set up a short touchdown drive take the lead 20-15, to 15, and Kilgore's great defense, led by Jaden Sanders, the Michigan commit, hangs on for the 20-15 to 15 win. The most impressive performance of the night from a team, from my opinion, the Columbus Cardinals in 3A Division I. Adam Schobel in that offense was cooking with Crisco tonight. 44 first-half points against a Class 4A team in Cuero. Columbus rolls 65-24. to 24. All the Cardinals got in on the act. They had a huge night, but the story of the night, really, Grayson Rigdon. The transfer from six-man football in Benjamin, three-time player of the year in the state, makes his 11-man debut at running back for Columbus and scores three first-half touchdowns to stake Columbus out to that huge lead. Columbus cruises in the second half. Very, very impressive performance from the Columbus Cardinals, who are making a statement as one of the teams to watch in 3A Division I. But they got to go through Franklin in, in the Region Three. The Lions, who have played in four straight state championship games, had a very impressive performance of their own. All roads in Region Three go through Franklin. Finally, in the big country in Class 2A, the Stanford Bulldogs, congrats to that program. They become the 21st Texas high school football program in history to get 700 wins as they roll past Albany 50-6. to Remember, Albany, back-to-back -back state champs in 2A Division II. Stanford, one of my sleepers and clicks to pick in 2A Division I. I have them playing in the state championship game. Stanford blasts Albany 50-6. to Wayne Hutchinson Ball Club is a team to watch in 2A Division I. They destroy Albany. 50 to 6. That's all here from Godly. Enjoy the evening. Get some rest. Matt Stepp signing off. Get out to a game on Saturday and we'll see you.